jolly good choice. The Lemming, who didn't want to take the plunge. Created and written by Taylor Brandon. Northern Europe is a land of mountains and springs, and it's the home of the cutest animals, the lemmings. And one young lemming was cuter than any. His fur was brown, and his name was Lenny. One day, the lemmings put their swimsuits on at dawn. Lenny asked an older lemming, what was going on? The old lemming said, this is something we always do. Every few years we march and don't stop till we're through. Little Lenny's voice began to drop. Where are we going? When will we stop? The old lemming said, we'll stop when we get there. Lenny replied, but I'd still like to know where. Lenny was starting to make the older lemming mad, for he had no answers to the questions asked by the lad. He said, Stop with the questions. Stop with your poo-pooing. Can't you see that this is what everyone else here is doing? And if everyone has decided that this is the right thing to do, then, he concluded, that should be enough for you. Feeling the pressure from the others, Lenny caved in. Slipping on his trunks, he joined the rest of his kin. They marched off, ready to cross anything in their way. Lenny wondered where they were headed that day. First, they all quickly waded across an icy stream. The water was so cold that they all began to scream. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Then they rushed towards a pool that was hotter. They needed relief after having braved the cold water. Climbing in, they elbowed each other for space. Every one of them had a smile on their face. Ah. Lenny said, Wow, maybe I was wrong when I kept questioning coming along. This hot pool is the greatest. I don't want to leave. Well, we have to. A skinny lemming began to grieve. To Lenny's surprise, the others crawled out of the spring. Again, they began doing that feet pumping marching thing. Lenny asked his pal if he knew where they were off to, but like the others, his thin friend didn't have a clue. He said, if I don't follow the others, I'll be made fun of by our brothers. And that type of pressure I can't take. Turning, he followed in the others' wake. Lenny said, I feel the same way you do. I know if I stop marching, I'll be teased too. Marching just off the group's rear flank, Lenny followed the others up a mountain bank. They snuck by some snow piled up in two giant rows. Any sound could cause an avalanche, burying them to their toes. After that, they carefully crossed a frozen lake. <gasps> Crossing their fingers, they hoped the ice wouldn't break. Then they crawled across a wheat field at night. Keeping low, they hid from an owl's keen sight. Lenny tagged along, thinking just how silly this was. No one knew where they were going, but followed because they were afraid if they didn't go along on this quest. They'd be teased and made fun of by all of the rest. Then, after marching for one more day and one night, they reached what, to Lenny, was a very scary sight. They reached the sea! They reached the shore! 
They could hear the waves and the oceans roar. The lemmings' little hearts filled with glee. They all got ready to jump into the sea. Lenny knew that he had to make a stand. It was now or never. His moment was at hand. He shouted, Wait, are you guys nuts or something? That's not a lake. Jumping in there is a dumb thing. It's too big to swim across. You will all drown. Once you get tired, there's only one way to go. Down. A few lemmings teased Lenny. Then the teasing grew. Until even the others who were afraid began teasing him too. Lenny said, I'm not caving into peer pressure. No way! Whoever dives in will soon be floating belly up in the bay. Lenny went on. And if you're smart, you won't go. But they did. Jumping in, one even yelled, Tally ho! Lenny watched the others disappear from sight. And then he left knowing his pals wouldn't be heard from again. Lenny didn't give in. He didn't do what he knew was wrong. He said, no, withstood the peer pressure and stayed strong. Today, Lenny's at his favorite place, the hot spring. He's proud of himself for having done the right thing. Sadly, Lenny spots a new group of lemmings every few years. They march in a row, driven by the pressure from their peers. They warm up in the hot pool and then press on. Pressured to march by the others, soon they're gone. Once they leave, no one ever hears from them again. They should have been like Lenny and just said, no. The end. Click to subscribe. Visit back soon for our next adventure.